every single week for the most part, we do a Throwback Thursday video, but with the release of Bloodhounds this past week, we kind of skipped that in favor of some more Bloodhound content, so to make up for that, we're going to do a bit of a throwback to something we haven't done in several months now, which some of you guys will remember as the Sunday highlight videos, so this isn't necessarily something we're going to be bringing back for every week now, but I wanted to go back to that. We pretty much spent a lot of time in multiplayer on Parque Fernando trying to get a Diamond True Horns Black Buck, and we got a lot of cool stuff in the process, and I wanted to put it all into one video, kind of summing up everything that didn't make it into the rest of the videos from this week. So with the Diamond Teal out of the way, we'll get into the rest of the highlights. Well, it's not the Black Buck we're looking for, but we do have a level 9 Red Deer out here. It's the big rack, but I think that's a 219 to 265. Not exactly the best estimate. We must have just barely spooked him because all the hinds were staying there. We'll try to kind of keep up with him and see if we can get a shot maybe out here in the open somewhere. There's a lot of room in this dead forest, so I think we're better off trying to follow him. I really don't think we've ever actually taken a diamond red deer from like a hunting blind before. And I believe they're trying to get back to that zone and I think we actually spooked them again as they were trying to. But I saw some of the hinds headed back this way and I'm pretty sure... From here we might actually get a shot. We can kind of see some of them are still milling around out there. Some fleeing and it looks like some nervous. But what I don't see is our level 9 anywhere. Just about figures. He's sort of making a loop out around us, but he is trotting pretty much directly into the path of a resting puma. So if he ends up going alert, which he is, we're going to try to get a shot in there, even alarmed. I think he was just about to flee, but we got him in the lungs. That is not our Puma. And neither is that. I wanted to get a shot at it, at least even show that it was out there. Because I'm quite confident that's what made him spook at that range. It's kind of just hiding back in there, actually. Just the three kind of stuck as they tend to be in that fleeing state. And I guess we got that. She sort of like glitched a little bit and moved when we took our shot, but... Naturally, that couldn't go exactly to play, and I really wanted to let him get close with that hunting structure, especially if uh, he was going to walk where some of the others did, because the hinds went, like, right under us, but even being in such an ideal position, the puma still managed to make things interesting. I actually quite like what we have going on there for a screenshot. It looks cool with Rocky kind of between the antlers, even with the sun facing the wrong direction, but a 253.6 for our diamond red deer, I actually thought he might be bigger. And I want to compare, like, those brow tines, because the one we killed over on Quattro that scored in the 260s, I don't remember the brow tines being that small, but a diamond's a diamond. This track right here has a ton of potential. It's a 175 to 210 kg mule deer track, max weight estimate, and it is a melanistic, and apparently we're a decent amount behind him because it's just very fresh. But hopefully we can get caught up to him and get eyes on him. But like I said, Max way to submit track, so hopefully it's going to be something good, and that is a run track. So maybe we are just right behind him. Man, so he is just a 4, but I think that's about as big as the 4s can get. 262 to 324. He is alert. And that'll do it for that guy. That's a really, really cool find. We'll get Rocky to come over here and uh, find him just to get some XP, but... I do wonder, I believe that rack at level 5 has like a really tiny chance at making diamond. I've never seen a level 4 diamond mule deer and I really doubt that this would be the one out of all the ones that have like some small chance. But we did kill a 311, I think with this rack, on stream. And that's only 3 below diamond. That's something I've not seen before. I wonder if it's gonna, there we go. There's like no barking audio the first time. So let's see what we have for this guy then. 298 actually. Is this a different rack? I'm surprised he's that low. But honestly, it's not so much about the antlers as it is the fact that he's a huge melanistic, and we tracked him three and a half kilometers to finally get eyes on him. That's such a cool looking animal. We've only ever had one melanistic mule deer buck, and it was like a silver, I think. So we're maybe gonna take down like a legacy uh, diamond mule deer for that guy. Because that's really cool, and I wish he wasn't... Like, his head's so tilted when we took the shot. It's hard to get a good screenshot, but we'll take plenty in the trophy lodge. That is such a cool find on a map that seemingly has been producing a lot of cool things lately. 
So finally, we have a level 5 True Rax Black Buck out here, and he's not the best estimate. 118 to 135 when I think 132.4 is diamond. But as far as I can tell, those are horns that at least have a chance of making it from the ones I've seen posted in Discord. And I'd say we're probably about close enough. So we'll let him go ahead and drink one more time. And hopefully once he lifts his head, we can go ahead and get a heart shot or something in there. So if he wants to actually do that, I'd say that right there will work. And I think those are the right horns anyway, from what I'm thinking of. I've seen a few posted in the discords and I'm pretty sure that's like the smaller diamond horn. So I'm not sure if it's a guarantee, but I'm pretty confident he has a chance. So a couple quick screenshots with Rocky. And we'll go ahead and take a look here and see. Hopefully, first Diamond True Horns, Black Buck. And it is 132.5, so not by much, but I actually like that. I mean, compared to the old Legacy Diamonds, there's a lot more mass there. And he's 132, almost 0.6 at the bottom right there, 132.57. So, not super close to trolling, but not too bad. I'm looking forward to seeing that in the Trophy Lodge. Yeah, that barely made it, but... I think it looks quite good. I'm definitely quite impressed, and I'm pretty sure that's a different rack than what we got in the early access, so good to see that bit of variance there as well. Well, it's been a little while since we've seen one of these, a level 9 water buffalo, and he's hardly pleased that we're here. I don't know if he's actually chasing us or the puma, I guess us. And I don't love where that first shot went. Hold up. That's another... This guy's gonna be out of our way. That's a mythical. If we can hopefully avoid getting killed. The mythical's got an estimate that could make diamond. We got them both and survived, but I'm worried we hit this guy in the skull, actually. It had to be really close. We're good. But we hit him in the jaw. It couldn't have been inches that we avoided this goal by, but got ourselves a diamond. I guess one that can replace a like early Truex water buffalo diamond in the trophy lodge, because we have a bunch of those from when they were super common, but my question is, what is this guy? Because he had the better estimate, and 164, so still close. Not quite a diamond for him, which is probably a good thing, but I can't remember the last time we had two that big charging us at once. Well, I'm not sure if a puma just spooked it or what, but that is a black buck with a massive estimate. I think 132.4 or something is diamond, and he was 132 to 149, so he's got a decent shot, but I'm not really sure what he's going to do. He's just trotting right at us. I'm so tempted to try that shot. I feel confident, especially that we can just make a hard shot and drop him into his tracks. There's also a leucistic in there, just a three. We can try to drop him as well. Got something pretty good. There's all kinds of stuff running around at this point, but I'm a little worried about that level five black buck just because animals score at the, the low end of their estimate so often, and there's definitely a chance. Don't think we're getting much of a screenshot there, but there's definitely a chance he ends up below that 132.4 mark or whatever it is. But since we're not getting a screenshot, we'll get Rocky to track him quickly just to get a little bit of XP. And, ooh, he's a pretty big one, actually. 138.3. Nice, like, mass and not that many spirals, actually. Hard shot him on the trot and everything. That is pretty cool. Definitely happy with that one. Don't know that I should have taken that trotting shot, but I really don't know. Like, I never saw a puma anywhere. So... I'm not too sure if that's what spooked him our way, but pretty cool way to actually get one. And we got ourselves the leucistic as well, which once again, we'll set Rocky on that track real quick. And that's just a little silver, but good to see actually in the same herd, I guess. I mean, they kind of went different directions, but as far as I know, it's just like the one feed zone here. So it should have been the same herd. So in the process of trying to get a Diamond True Rax Black Buck, not only do we end up with actually two of them, we also got some other pretty cool stuff along the way, but I wanted to maybe do a wall of like Truax Black Buck because I do like them. 
and at least for now, I thought this was a good place to put them, so that's our lower scoring one, or 132, alongside a Legacy Diamond. And you can see the difference, like the Legacies just look a lot smaller in comparison, and like I said, that's the smaller one. Our bigger guy over here would dwarf it even more, but I like what we have going there, we'll have to see once we get some other ones, if there's enough variety to do like an entire wall of them. But for now, I thought we'd do that. And also, we have our Melanistic Mule here, and we took down the Legacy Diamond we had in here. So kind of getting more and more uh, true racks, but that's so cool, side by side. And somehow it makes the Diamond one, like, body-wise look a lot bigger. But I love that. A 298 Melanistic, just good size antlers and everything. I do like these antlers. Like, when I think of a trophy Mule deer, one thing I always imagine are, like, the little stickers like that. And I love that the Melanistic one we got actually has those, so that's really neat. And then we also have our Diamond Water Buffalo, and I think I mentioned when we shot it that we could replace a, like, original Truex Diamond Water Buffalo. We actually don't have any more of those in the Trophy Lodge, which is really awesome. I wanted to get those out of here. So instead, we took down a Silver Leucistic Bison, and we have our Water Buffalo up there next to two Cape Buffalo, and that actually looks a lot better on that wall. I'm happy you did that, so pretty cool to make the new additions, and I'm really happy to get a couple of Diamond True Black Buck. They look really good, and I definitely don't think we're done hunting them. I'd like to get more for the wall and just see if there is more variety with the horns, but anyway, I think that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.